Good morning children. Today we will focus on the topic linear expansion. You have been taught that thermal expansion is the important effect of heat. Thermal expansion means increase in the size of the objects on heating. Heating a substance increases the energy of its molecule and expansion of the solids is due to the increase in the interatomic distances. Interatomic distances means the distance between the atoms and this distance increases with the rise in temperature. So whenever temperature increases basically the average molecular kinetic energy of a substance increases and when this happens the molecules begin to vibrate more vigorously and therefore they push each other and this causes the substances to expand. This particular portion has already been taught to you earlier. Now in this slide there are two pictures. I will refer first of all the picture number one. Here you have a rod of some metal which is at 0 degree Celsius and the length of the rod is L0. Here 0 depicts the temperature, the initial temperature of the rod. Now when the temperature increases let the temperature be T degree Celsius. Now on increasing the temperature because of expansion the rod length has become LT where T here denotes the temperature, the final temperature. So if I ask you how much the rod has shown increase in length, what will you do? You will simply subtract the bigger value with the smaller value that means LT minus L0. This LT minus L0 is the increase in the length. So this is how you have calculated increase in the length. Now if I ask you to find the increase in temperature then how will you find? Initial temperature is 0 degree Celsius, final temperature is T degree Celsius. So how much is the increase in temperature? T minus 0 which is uh, the increase in temperature. So here in the second picture in the same slide initial length L0 is mentioned, temperature is T0 mentioned or 0 degree Celsius which simply shows that the temperature is 0 degree Celsius and on increasing the temperature the length which is also increased this change in length is denoted by delta L. This triangle that you see over here is the sign of difference. That means LT minus L0 or LT minus L0 can also be written as delta L. And similarly the change in temperature T minus 0 degree Celsius can be written as delta T where delta sign this triangle sign which is which I am calling delta this delta sign is the sign of difference or change. So the factors that affect linear expansion which you already have studied earlier and you must have learned for the test. So this what are the factors? The first factor that is uh, that affects linear expansion is the nature of the material of the rod. If you remember you have been taught one example that iron rod expands less than copper rod or aluminium rod. Why? Because the nature of the material of the rods are different. In iron there is a strong cohesive bond between the atoms as compared to aluminium. So what is this LT minus L0? LT minus L0 yeah, LT minus L0 is nothing but delta L which I have told you just now. That means the change in the length or expansion. 
This depends upon nature of the material. Second factor on which linear expansion depends upon is the original length of the rod. The longer the length of the rod, the more will be the expansion or delta L. And the third is LT minus L naught is directly proportional to change in temperature. The greater the change in temperature, the more will be the expansion. So this LT minus L naught written also as delta L can be written as delta L as you can see here in this uh, slide. And the change in temperature is written as delta T. So either you write delta L or you simply write LT minus L0 that is not an issue. Okay, so these are the factors on which linear expansion depends upon. So when we write this mathematically then how do you write directly proportional? Directly proportional is expressed with this sign and what does it mean as I have told you it means the greater the original length of the rod the more will be the expansion. If the length of the rod is lesser the expansion will also be less. That's the meaning of the symbol directly proportional which is written in this manner. And this expansion is also directly proportional to change in temperature. So more the change in temperature more will be the expansion. On combining these two equations we get LT minus L naught directly proportional to L naught or L zero multiplied by this change in temperature delta T. In order to convert this uh, expression of equal this expression into equality we introduce a proportionality constant which is known as alpha and this is its symbol this proportionality of a uh, constant is known as coefficient of linear expansion and its unit is per degree celsius and SI unit is per Kelvin and this is how you write. So what is this coefficient of linear expansion alpha? This coefficient of linear expansion is a proportionality constant which is a number. It is an integer. So here delta L if you go through this expression which says that LT minus L0 is directly proportional to L0 delta T. Similar thing I have written here also but instead of LT minus L0 I have written delta L which is the change in temperature and I have removed the proportionality sign introduced an equal to sign and a proportionality constant and rest remains the same. There is no difference in the formula. So if you look at if you uh, compare the previous expression with this one what I have done I have only rearranged the values. I have brought L0 from this side of the equal to sign to the other side. So delta L upon L0 is equal to alpha delta T. So delta L is the change in length. L0 is the original length at, z at uh, 0 degree Celsius. Delta T is the change in temperature. And alpha is the linear coefficient of thermal expansion or simply coefficient of linear expansion. So this linear coefficient of uh, expansion thermal expansion or simply coefficient of linear expansion has a definition also. So how do you define alpha? For this, uh, for in order to determine alpha or this coefficient, we will have to assume that we have a rod of length 1 meter and the change in temperature is by 1 degree Celsius. 
So on putting the values L0 as 1 meter here and delta T as 1 degree Celsius, what is left behind? You are left with alpha equals to delta L. That means alpha is nothing but the change in length. And therefore, the definition of linear expansion, the coefficient of linear expansion of a solid is defined as the increase in its length per unit original length per degree rise in temperature. That means how much the change in the length has taken place for every 1 degree rise in temperature provided the initial length of the rod is 1 meter. So that is how you define coefficient of linear expansion. So this coefficient of linear expansion has got a lot of importance in this field of thermal expansion. Its value depends only upon the nature of the substance and not on the dimensions of the rod. And therefore its value varies from one material to another. And the rate at which the material expands is dependent only upon the kind of bonding that exists between the atom. If the cohesive force is strong, the cohesive force between the atoms is strong, then expansion will be low. And this is what happens in iron. The cohesive force is very strong in iron and therefore it expands lesser than other known metals. This particular table describes a very important concept of linear expansion. So as you can see here it is written aluminium has expansion 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. So if I ask you what do you mean by this statement? This statement means that an aluminium rod will expand to 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter when the rise in temperature is only 1 Kelvin. So that amount is very small 10 to the power 5 is a very small value so definitely you will not be able to witness the change in the length that takes place but yes expansion does happen even if the rise in temperature is only 1 Kelvin so if you compare the values of the coefficient of linear expansion here all the values what do you find that every substance has different value? Why? Because the nature of the substance is different. So if you see glass, pyrex glass has 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 uh, per Kelvin. This is the linear expansion of pyrex glass. This if you compare its value with that of aluminium. So what do you conclude? It means that aluminium will expand more than that of pyrex glass. Brass will expand less than aluminium. Copper will expand less than brass. Steel is going to expand even lesser than copper. Silver, gold and their values are the maximum expansion that you can observe here is for platinum among all the metals or materials that are shown in the table. Maximum value is that of platinum. That means it expands the most and the minimum value is of tungsten, tungsten which is another material and a pyrex glass. Both of them expand to a very very smaller value and that is the significance of coefficient of linear expansion which tells us for every 1 degree rise in, 1 degree celsius rise in temperature or 1 kelvin rise in temperature how much that substance going to expand